Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to introduce you to Taylor's charts, as well as to show you how to use these charts. So in the undrained analysis of slopes, charts which were produced by a person named Taylor are often used. And before I show you the charts, let me first introduce you to a dimensionless stability number known as N. So N is equal to CM, which is the mobilized cohesion. So N is equal to the mobilized cohesion divided by gamma, which is the unit weight of the soil in the slope, and H, which is the height. And the mobilized cohesion is equal to the cohesion of the soil divided by the factor of safety. So Taylor produced ch two charts which we can use in undrained analysis. So chart one is used for general cases except for when the angle of friction of the soil is equal to zero and when the angle of the slope is less than 53 degrees. And chart two is used for the specific case when the angle of friction of the soil is equal to zero and when the slope of the soil is less than 53 degrees. So here we have the first Taylor chart. On the horizontal axis we have the slope angle and on the vertical axis we have the stability number. So the way to use this chart, so first you need to determine the angle of the slope and from then on, from there you project vertically upwards until you intersect with the angle of friction in the Taylor chart. And once you have intersected with that line, you project horizontally across until you intersect with the axis, axis, which has the stability numbers. And because you know the unit weight of the soil and the height of the slope, you'll you'll be able to determine what the mobilized cohesion is and because you should know what the cohesion of the soil is from there you'll be able to determine the factor of safety of the soil of the slope and chart 2 is a similar case except for the horizontal axis axis we have a depth factor d and a depth factor d is simply a factor which influence whether the slip surface will emerge at a distance nh in front of the toe or whether it will simply pass through the toe. So it's simply a factor which is multiplied by the height of the slope. So once you find your depth factor d, you project upwards to your slope angle and from there you project horizontally across to get your stability number. And then, again, because we should know the unit weight of the soil as well as the height, we'll be able to find our mobilized cohesion, and from there we can find our factor of safety. So let's now consider an example where we can use Taylor's charts. So here we have a slope, and the height of the slope, the vertical height of the slope is 8 meters. And we're interested in finding out what the factor of safety is, for two cases, so in case one, the unit weight of the soil is 18.5 kilonewtons per meter cubed. The undrained cohesion is 30 kilopascals. And the following two parameters here are what are of particular interest to us. So the undrained angle of friction of a soil is 0 degrees. And the angle of the slope is 65 degrees for case one. Now for case 2, the total unit weight of the soil is 19 kilonewtons per cubic meters. The undrained cohesion is 30 kPa. The undrained angle of friction is 0. And the slope angle is 30 degrees. So these are the parameters which we need to look at in order to determine which chart to use. So let's first start with case 1. So for case 1, phi u is equal to 0 and beta is equal to 65 degrees. So 
So looking at these conditions here, it is clear that we need to use chart 1 because beta is bigger than 53 degrees. And chart 2 is only used for the case when phi u is equal to both when both phi u is equal to 0 and when the slope angle is less than 53 degrees. So we use chart 1. So let's go to chart 1. And let me just project the line for 65 degrees. Like so. And you can see it in intersects with the line phi equal to 0 up here. And when, if we project horizontally across, this gives us a stability number of 0 0.2. So from chart 1, n is equal to 0 0.2. So our mobilized cohesion divided by gamma h is equal to 0 0.2. And we can then solve for our mobilized cohesion. So cm is equal to 0 0.2 times gamma 18.5. times h which is 8 and this works out to be 29.6 and our mobilized cohesion is also equal to our cohesion divided by f so rearranging this f equals to our cohesion divided by our mobilized cohesion and our cohesion here is given as 30 kPa so 30 divided by 29.6. So this gives us a factor of safety of 1.01. .01. Okay, let's now look at case 2. So for case 2, phi u is equal to 0. And beta is equal to 30 degrees. So we go back to our conditions. We can use chart 2 because phi u is equal to 0 and beta, the slope angle, is less than 53 degrees. And our dh, it's 10 meters because that's the depth to this bottom surface here. So dh is equal to 10. And because we know that h is equal to 10, uh, sorry, because we know that h is equal to 8 meters, we can solve for what d is, and that is 1.25. So let's go to chart 2 now. So 1.25 is approximately here. And our slope angle was 30 degrees. So 30 degrees is here. So this gives us an, a stability number n of roughly, let's just say 0 0.155. So solving for our mobilized cohesion, Cm is equal to 0 0.155 gamma h. Our gamma for case 2 was 19. Multiply by our height, which is 8. And this works out to be 23.56. So therefore, our factor of safety C divided by CM. So our cohesion in case 2 is 30 kPa. So 30 divided by 23.56. So this gives us a factor of safety of 1.27. And that's it for today's video on Taylor's charts. I hope you have enjoyed these series of videos on slope, slope stability. Thanks for watching, guys.